Isn't it ironical that Moses' father-in-law was the most proficient practitioner of the occult, of the black arts, of witchcraft, magic and shamanism, before he converted to Judaism to join the Jewish people? The word conversion today sounds a little controversial. What do we mean? In Hebrew, there is no such word as such. The word is ger or gioret, who we wrongly translate as convert. Because the Lubavitcher Rebbe explained to me that a person who converts, quote unquote, but does so according to halacha, according to the base din of the town, proves that that soul always was Jewish. The reincarnative journey of that soul caused that soul to be raised in a non-Jewish body, in a non-Jewish environment, as a test. And because a ger and gioret passes that test, and according to halacha, and does so correctly halachically, publicly pronounces that with a so-called conversion, but really it's called a gerut, we have to respect that individual even more than an individual Jew who was born naturally Jewish as such. So next time you speak to a ger or gioret, remember, respect is paramount.